Welcome to the Neuro-Ophthalmology Reading Centre training video for Logmar Visual Acuity. This video is part of the Neuro-Ophthalmology Reading Centre training suite and should be used alongside the standard of procedure documents and clinical research forms for your study. Room Setup Firstly, we are going to demonstrate the best practices for environment and patient setup when assessing visual acuity using a 4 meter Logmar chart. You will need to select the study specific chart as stipulated by the trial protocol. Before conducting any study procedure, it is important to check that the equipment is in good working order. For the Logmar visual acuity test, the bulbs should be in good working order and illuminate the chart evenly. Both the charts and cabinet backboard should be in good condition and free from marks or areas of discoloration. The testing lane used should be consistent where possible and should be evenly illuminated. Rooms with dimmer controlled lighting should be set to the brightest setting. The distance from the chart to the patient should be accurately measured with a tape measure from the centre of the chart to the centre of the patient's chair. Patient setup. When performing the test, the patient should be sat upright, not leaning forward in the chair. The patient should be encouraged to maintain a steady head position during testing. The patient should be provided an occluder so that only one eye is tested at a time. Testing. The specific criteria for acuity testing, including unaided, best corrected and pinhole, will be outlined in your study protocol and should be followed accordingly. However, the process for recording Logmar visual acuity for submission to the Neuro-Ophthalmology Reading Centre is standard across all trials. Remember to fill in the information boxes at the top of every CRF. This should include the study site and study patient ID, as well as the visit number and episode date. As the patient reads down the chart, letters that the patient correctly identifies should be marked on the CRF using a circle. Incorrect letters should be identified by a cross and missed letters should be left unmarked. If a patient is unable to see the top line at 4 metres, the chart should be brought to a 1 metre distance away from the patient and the assessment restarted from there. Scoring. When the patient reaches a line where they cannot read any of the five letters, the previous line is classed as their base logmar line. The base logmar is then recorded on the CRF. The number of missed letters should be recorded in the missed letters column. The N value identifies the number of letters missed by the patient. These should be added up and multiplied by 0.02. The answer should be written next to the N column. The total logmar acuity value is calculated by adding the base logmar value plus N, where N is the number of letters missed on base logmar line times 0.02. Write this calculated value in the box at the bottom marked Logmar Acuity. If the study protocol requires testing with glasses or contact lenses, please fill in the refractive correction section on the CRF. Unless otherwise stated in your trial protocol, patients with vision worse than 0.2 Logmar should be tested with pinhole. Patients who are unable to read any letters at 4 metre or 1 metre should be tested using count fingers, hand movements, perception of light and no perception of light. This should be recorded in the relevant section of the CRF. If a form is not required for any reason, please check the box marked NA. Submitting. All completed forms should then be scanned in and saved using a PDF format. Please refer to the Study Manual of Procedures for full details of how to submit documents to the Neuro-Ophthalmology Reading Centre.